Today we're doing a review of a new release from a very popular designer house, YSLY Elixir. We're going to cover many things in this review, including the scent profile, the performance, the versatility, and of course, we're gonna take it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's get into this review. The scent profile on this one right here is going to be very similar to YSLY Eau de Parfum. Although it's not listed in the notes, you are able to pick up that apple and sage kind of vibe that you get from the Eau de Parfum, except this one has a more amplified soapy finish. In fact, upon first impression, I thought this one smelled like straight soap. They are also listing that there's oud in this fragrance, but to be transparent, guys, I do not pick up any oud in this fragrance. So although there is oud listed in the note breakdown, there is no oud in this fragrance that I'm able to detect. So again, guys, it's a fresh and clean kind of fragrance. Like you stepped out the shower in some expensive soap. It smells like YSL Wild Eau de Parfum with a soapier finish. Although there is oud listed in this fragrance, I personally do not detect any of it when smelling YSL Y Elixir. The performance on this one right here is not beast mode, but it is pretty good for a fresh fragrance. You're able to get about six to seven hours of performance. Within the first hour, you're going to get a massive amount of sillage and projection, literally two feet. And after that, it takes a massive nosedive. And within that two to four hour mark, you're going to pick up maybe six inches to a foot of projection. And from that four to six hour mark, it's about six inches of projection. And from the six to seven hour mark, it's kind of a completely faded skin scent, but you are able to pick up nuances from the fragrance. Some of you might be disappointed in the performance because you might want it to last like a Dior Sauvage Elixir or a Le Mal Elixir, which have like 12 hours plus. Guys, this is a fresh fragrance while the other ones are more sweet and oriental, okay? And those kind of scent profiles tend to last a lot longer than fresh fragrances. So overall, it is a pretty good performer, not a beast mode, six to seven hours. The versatility on this one right here is straight 10 out of 10. This is in the S tier category and the S is for signature. You can wear this one in the summer, spring, winter, fall. This fragrance could do it all. You can wear it in professional settings like the office. You could dress this one up with a suit and tie, even a tuxedo. If you want to dress it down casually, you absolutely can. You can wear this one on a date. You can wear this one to the club. Literally, I cannot picture a situation where you cannot reach for this fragrance. So versatility on this one right here is straight 10 out of 10 and is definitely signature scent worthy. And of course, guys, we took it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's play the footage. Hey, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this brand new fragrance release from a very popular designer? It's great. It's great? Yes. Is the average above average for you? Mm -hmm. Is the average or above average? Like really good, it's okay. It's really good. Really good, okay. So from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? Is not it's not too strong. Not too strong? It's perfect for the summer. Perfect for the summer, it's very fresh, clean. Eight, okay. So it's the brand new Yves Saint Laurent Y Elixir. <laughs> that's my favorite brand, that's why. This one here? Awesome, well thank you so much. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Okay. Yeah. Hello, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this brand new fragrance release for men? Sure. Thank you, you can take your turn smelling it. Pass it along to each other. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Absolutely. Okay, so what would you give it? Is it average for you or above average? It's below average. Below average, what about you? I like average. Average, okay, so from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give this one as a score? A three. A three, wow. So sorry. Why don't it's you, it's not, it's not mine, no, no, no. Three. Three, so yeah. what don't you like about it that you gave it a three? Uh, it's really fruity. Really fruity? And like floral. Floral, okay. No, I guess not floral, really just fruity. And if someone walked past me wearing this, I would think that they were bringing attention to themselves. Uh, okay. I think oh. it's quite strong is what I'd say, yeah. Quite strong as a fragrance. Yeah. And you said it's average. Why do you call it average? I, it kind of just reminds me of other ones that I've smelled yeah. before. Ah, okay, so a little bit basic for you. Yeah. Okay, so the fragrance we showed you is gonna be the brand new Yves Saint Laurent. Why? Why that face? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? Tell us. <laughs> no, nothing. Oh, you just don't, okay, fair. Yeah. I thought you bought this for somebody before as a gift. And you're like, oh my goodness, <laughs> no, I can't believe this. Thankfully not, actually. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, well thank you so much, have a Thank good day. you, you too. Yeah. Hey, how are you today? I'm so sorry to interrupt. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this brand new fragrance release? Sure. It just came out, it's a very popular one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. It's kind of like cologne. It kind of has a cologne effect. Yes. Is it average for you or above average? You can be completely honest with us here, it's not my fragrance. What is your target 
Uh, um, we're trying to make men smell nice. <laughs> I mean, I would give it a seven. A seven? Okay. So you find it to be average, nothing too special? Uh, yeah. Is there a fragrance you like more on men that you want to share with us? Oh, I wouldn't actually, I wouldn't even know the name of it. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We love it. <laughs> so the fragrance we showed you today is going to be the brand new Yves Saint Laurent Y Elixir. Oh. Yeah, really? it just came out. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this brand new fragrance release? Sure. Thank you so much. You can be completely honest with us. It smells like my mom. It smells like your mom. Wow. <laughs> so it's feminine to you. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it average for you or above average? Oh, uh, average. Average, okay. Yeah. So from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance. It's funny you say it smells like your mom. <laughs> <It's also> like <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> what would you give this one as a score from one to 10? Um, maybe a seven. A seven, so it's like average, it's okay? Yeah. Does it come off like basic to you? Yeah, I guess. Maybe I met, maybe I met my dad. I don't know. It's all the same. Maybe unisex. It smells like something I've smelled before. It smells familiar. Yeah. So the fragrance we showed you today is the brand new Yves Saint Laurent mm -hmm. Y Elixir. It is familiar because they pretty much took the original, which is a top seller, and it kind of just amplified it, made it more soapy clean. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. Oh. You have a good day. You too. Yeah. Hello, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. We have a brand new fragrance release from a very popular brand. Can I get your opinion on it real quick? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> What's the brand? I'll tell you after, because it might screw your results. <laughs> we want honest opinions. Okay. okay. Do you need to smell it again? I think it's no. good. You think it's good? Like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, fresh. fresh, average or above average for you? You could be completely honest here. I would say average. Average? average. I agree. Why do you say average? I feel like I've smelled it before. Smelled yeah. it before, comes off familiar, bit yeah. basic yeah. maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance, what would you give it as a score? Like a seven. Seven? I'd say six. Six? I was gonna say six. It could be a little more musky. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. She's critiquing the perfumer. She's like, come on guys, get it together. Yeah. We need some musk in here. So the fragrance we showed you is gonna be the brand new Yves Saint Laurent Y Elixir. Oh, no. So the highest score this one got was about an eight and the rest of the scores were in that six to seven range. So it did not do that well. It wasn't like an offensive kind of fragrance. Like one girl completely did not like this fragrance, but she also said it smells fruity, which I don't really pick up that kind of vibe from this scent. But a lot of the other ones said that it smells basic and average and it smells familiar. Yes, guys, it smells very similar to YSLY Eau de Parfum. That is currently a top five selling fragrance on the market. So if you think about it, a lot of girls are gonna smell this one and might confuse it with the other one. So I do believe you are going to get compliments. I don't believe it's gonna be a massive amount like Le Mal Elixir or Versace Eros Flame, but I do believe when girls smell it, they're going to like it. But at the same time, they're not going to find it unique because it smells like YSL Y or the Parfum. So what's my final verdict on YSL Y Elixir? Let's put the bottle down and get serious. So I do like the scent profile in this fragrance. It smells like YSL Y Eau de Parfum with that soapier finish. It kind of makes it a little bit more mature, a little bit more classy, a little bit more sophisticated and elegant. But at the same time, it doesn't really introduce anything new. The versatility on it is a solid 10 out of 10, guys. Literally, you can wear this one for any situation, any occasion, any season, any reason. At the same time, the performance is pretty good for a fresh fragrance. Six to seven hours, is it beast mode? Not really. Does it outperform the other YSL Y flankers? Not really. So my only gripe with this fragrance, which I have to be honest, is the price value proposition. And this one here falls short. You're paying $180 retail for a two ounce. With that kind of money, guys, I'm able to buy YSL Y Eau de Parfum 3.3 ounce for 155, spending less money and getting a fragrance that is extremely similar to this one. It's very difficult for me to justify because I'm spending less money and getting more fragrance. And it's not introducing more performance. It's not introducing anything that makes it groundbreaking, guys. I do like the fragrance. I genuinely mean it. And if somebody likes this one more than YSL Wild Eau de Parfum and they have the money to spare, I think you would be happy. I think the performance is good. Versatility is solid. Women's reactions are going to be okay. I don't think it's going to be offensive, but that's my final verdict on it. Is it a bad fragrance overall? No, but I believe the price value proposition on this one is not the best. So hope you guys enjoyed my review of YSL Wild Elixir. If you did, Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below what video you want to see next. 
Make sure to subscribe if you want to follow me on social media. I'll leave it right there for you guys. Have a good day.